Hi, we are Ahima Diagnostic Systems, a manufacturer of in vitro diagnostic tests. And today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to use one of the screening tests. The test that we will use in our demonstration today will be an HIV Express test. This test will be performed using positive whole blood sample for the HIV virus. Again, the sample used today will be a positive whole blood sample for HIV virus. Let's begin. First, we take the Express HIV test pouch and we remove the test components from it. The test components included in the test are the Express HIV device, the safety lancet, and the diluent pod. Because we are performing the test at the laboratory of hemodiagnostic systems, we're going to be using all the appropriate and recommended laboratory procedures. Therefore, we will not require to prick a finger with a safety lancet to obtain the sample of whole blood. That blood has been supplied by a laboratory and we will skip this one step. Make sure to always use protective lab equipment such as gowns, gloves, and other recommended equipment when handling blood samples and or infectious materials. Always handle all materials as if they were infectious or positive. Great! Since the blood and all components are set and ready to be used, we can start the test right now. First, remove the HIV Express device protective cover. Great. Please identify on the express test the minimum and maximum fill lines located on the sample pad. And this is the sample pad right there. And in there we will see both the minimum and maximum fill lines. Great. Let's continue. Touch the blood sample by using the tip of the sample pad and fill the sample pad between the minimum and maximum fill lines. Open the diluent pot and introduce the express device into the diluent pot. After that, place the express device test on a flat surface. By using a timer, start counting the time. Set it up at 30 minutes. We will begin to see a flow of the mixture of the diluent and blood throughout the sample path and then onto the membrane which is where the results window is located at. Please notice that on the result window you will see two areas. One is the T area, which is the test area, and the other is the C area or control area. Each one of these two areas will form a line, and those lines will be used to interpret the results in the test. We're waiting to see the migration of both the diluent and the sample onto the membrane. We're starting to see the migration reach the membrane area.
right, there we see it. Flowing out the membrane area, just passing by the T line area, and flowing up towards the C or control line area. Again, please remember that we are using positive samples for the virus of HIV. Therefore, we will obtain a positive result at the end of the test. The normal time to get the results, it's anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes. Please do not interpret any results after 30 minutes. We begin to see the formation of the T line, which is the test line. And the migration continues moving forward towards the C line area. Now we're starting to see the formation of the C line or control line. The presence of these two lines on the results window of the HIV Express test indicates a positive result. Again, the presence of both the C line, control line, or test line, or T line, indicates a positive result in the screening of the HIV Express. We look at the uh, timer and we see that only four minutes have gone by since we began the test. And we clearly see already a positive result on the test. <clears throat> also, if only we had the C line present at the end of the test, the presence of the C line will indicate that it's a negative result, but at the same time it indicates that the test has been done properly. If we only had the T line or test line present without the presence of the C line, then the result will be considered invalid and a new test must be administered. If no lines are present at the end of the 30 minutes, that also will indicate an invalid test at the end of the test. We clearly see the presence of both the C line or control line, which indicates a positive result for this HIV screening test. We will also like to mention <coughs> that the Express HIV test pouch and any other Express pouch provides a full description in the back of the test on how the test is administered as well as how the results are interpreted. Please always refer to the back of the pouch to see a quick explanation of how to do the test and how to interpret the results. Also, each test will be accompanied with an insert page that will also explain how the tests are performed, how the results are interpreted, and additional information that could be used. All right, we have reached the end of our test. Again, we have a clear positive result which is what we expected to have at the end of the test since we were using positive HIV sample. All right, for more information, you can always visit our website at www.rapid123.com. Again, that is www.rapid123.com. Thank you and have a great day.